Twitter. What's up YouTube, Clues Bushcraft here with another video. Uh, today, as you guys can see, I've been making some sort of structure. Um, well, let me show you guys here. All right, so I'm trying to build a smoker or like a stone smoker. I don't really know how to build like with, with brick. And so I'm just kind of winging it right now. So I think I need more bricks. You know, so far, this is about 30 bricks. It doesn't look like it, but yeah. <laughs> All right, so this area right here, this area is gonna be for the firewood or the coals. Um, and then, then I have a hole here where the smoke will go through. And then, then I'll make a structure here where it'll collect all the smoke. And then I'm going to have like a grill running across so I can put the meat. Um, that's my plan, but I don't know how to really execute this properly. But yeah, as you can see, I'm pretty much a noob at this. I don't really know what to do. Um, but I'm going to play around with it and see, and see what happens. I'm going to take a look at some more videos on YouTube and see if I can find anything that'll help me actually build this better. So for now, I uh, have a fire going, so I'm just gonna cook something up. It's gonna be something weird. I wanna show you guys, you guys will like it. All right. All right, not sure if you guys can see this, but uh, these are silkworms. Uh, let's see here. There you go. Silkworm pupa hole sliced in sauce and soybean paste. Yeah, so uh, let's give this a shot. I, I've i tried it before and it was actually decent. Um, these Korean um, silkworm containers are always seasoned and they're really good actually. So let's try it on, on here then today. Oh man. Ooh, look at that. What's that? Oh, there's corn in there. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, let's let's give this a shot. I think this might be too hot. Oh yeah, that's too hot. Okay, let's uh, adjust the heat on the pan here. So I took it off the fire for a little bit, so I can do this. Oh, there we go. All right, back on the fire. All right. 
right, so here it is. I'll show you guys. All right, let's give it a try. Oh, it looks good. It's kind of spicy too. <laughs> Alright, I want to get this fire going again. It's beginning to get cold. And I just want to sit and talk with you guys. So I think this piece right here is just a mushroom. Let's see. Yeah, it's just a mushroom. There's just one piece of mushroom in here. <laughs> I reduced the liquid. So like, this is almost like a sauce now. It's really good, actually. Mm. All of the insects that I've had before, they all taste pretty much the same. They have this weird same similar aftertaste. I've had, let's see here, I've had scorpions before, like deep fried scorpions, crickets, bees. I've had a lot of weird insects before and like these, and these I guess, um, silkworms. Take a look at it. <laughs> it actually has some meat in, in inside. Alright, so uh, I'm going to be spending some more time getting this uh, smoker done. I don't know how many more bricks I'm going to need, but I'm just going to wing it and see what happens. <laughs> I know what I, like I know the concept and how it works, but I just don't know how to build it so it actually looks nice. I might rather do it in a way where it just functions and it doesn't need to actually look nice. Um, so yeah, look, look forward to that. I'll be making more videos in my backyard because it's more convenient for me. Um, I'm going to try to change things up, but, but as far as for now, I don't really know where I could go to actually like build a camp or set things up, you know. I might do like one day camping trips, but I'm not really sure yet. Um, otherwise, you probably have noticed that I've actually cut my hair. It actually got really, really long. I'll show you guys a clip of it, maybe. What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? Clueless Bushcraft here, finally with a new video. I'm here with my uh, cousins and my sister at Gooseberry Falls. super long and I I wish I hadn't cut it I got to a point where like, like it got really irritating because it was always in my eyes and face and stuff but it looked really cool <laughs> um, so now I'm gonna try to grow it back out um, Laura's I have a lot of projects that I want to do I want to make more videos um, like just small shorter videos not too long um, that way you guys get more videos uh, and then from there, I'll kind of try to ease myself back into all of this because editing is kind of a chore. Like it, I don't have the best computer, but actually it works. But it takes a while to actually get editing done. Um, so I'm going to try to get some shorter videos out for you guys. Uh, so it's not too long in between videos that I actually upload. Um, 
Yeah, so I'm just gonna try to uh, do more micro documenting and sort of just document like the small bushcrafty things that I do and post that to YouTube. Um, and I plan on trying to find some parks and stuff like that, or like state parks or um, national parks that I could go and actually build my camps. Um, and it's sort of like a permanent camp. Like I really, really want a permanent camp. Um, in one of the older videos, you'll notice that I've actually talked uh, talked about how my cousin has some land that I can uh, um, use, some land that I could use and like build a permanent camp at. But uh, it turns out that he was only looking for land. He wasn't actually, he didn't actually own any land. Um, so I'm gonna look around and see where I could like build a camp. Like my, my main goal is sort of like a stealth camp still. So it's gonna be more low profile camp. Like a more of a low profile like shelter. So I'll dig out like a large hole, probably around like a five by nine foot and then five by nine foot like rectangle and then maybe about three feet deep and just set up like wood against the walls and then uh, have like a lean-to over it and then just through just throw like debris all over it and that way uh, it's harder to actually see from a distance yeah so that's one of my goals for this year I want to do that um, otherwise this smoker here is gonna be really cool. Like I, I love smoked foods. Like I grew up in an Asian family, and I never really got to experience like smoked foods. And so, like I fell in love with it when I kind of like first had it. And um, in Texas, like I fell in love with it even more. Um, smoked smoked briskets, steaks, beef ribs everything that's amazing and I really like to get like my meats that I make like extremely smoky so I I want to smoke it for like maybe a day or two if not longer I'm gonna, I'm gonna experiment with it it's gonna be fun so hopefully I actually get <laughs> all of that done so um that's pretty much it for today's video um stay tuned for the next all right thanks you guys take care all right so i let raven out earlier because um she's been whining and crying all day uh inside the house uh so i just let her out for a little bit um but i don't like having i don't like doing stuff outside while she's out and like running about because like she tends to chase other animals and uh she's pretty protective of the, of the home so like she she'd bark and chase at strangers walking by also so I don't have a fence so I can't really uh I don't usually have Raven stay out here with me unless she's like tied up but then it's cold out so like she gets cold if she's not running around yeah.